live across America, Mike Horn and Paul Stern and What's Cooking on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, welcome to the What's Cooking program, Hour 2 here on CRN. I'm Michael Horn along with Eric Hines and Paul Stern. Jack Roberts on assignment on the men coming back with us here on the uh, What's Cooking staff. Hopefully we'll have him back very soon. On today's show, Steve Pepe is going to be here, the owner of Clo Pepe. It's a winery in Santa Barbara County in California above Santa Barbara, midway between Los Angeles, San Francisco, in the Santa Rita Hills. He's going to talk about the winery, but he's going to talk about this first classic, rare, fine wine auction ever held in the uh, Santa Barbara County uh, Vintners area. And it'll be held on Sunday, on August 1st. I'm sorry, August. Is it August 1st? Yeah, August 1st is the date for this thing in Los Olivos. It's either August 1st or August 11th. I think we've got a typo on this thing right now. We'll double check that for you and get it to, uh, to you for information. Uh, but it could be the first. It says month, August the month. So we'll go with that date for you, ladies and gentlemen. The rare and fine wines uh, auctioning off. And then speaking of wines, our world wine correspondent Larry Lipson from Costa Rica will be here talking about some of the great uh, values and bargains he has discovered at the Lipson Institute for Advanced Wine Studies. Welcome to the broadcast, Paul Stern. Hey, good to be with you, Mike. It looks like we got an exciting hour ahead of uh, what's cooking today. And it is August 1st, by the way. Just double-checked it so you can mark your calendars down. I was at this restaurant. You know, we had Vic on from uh, uh, the uh, the great Columbo's um, uh, uh, Italian Steakhouse and uh, and also a Jazz Club. And this restaurant is your place to go. And I'm telling you, they've got a bunch of steaks. You can get like a ribeye under 20 bucks. The filet is like twenty one ninety five, And then they've got... For I think it was like fifteen or sixteen dollars, they had this uh, meatball steak, and you wouldn't. You first hear you think, what are you talking about? You thinking meatballs and just putting them all together? It's it's like a, a, a ground. It's like a ground steak, but it's so much better. It's a higher quality meat, and you can order it uh, rare, medium, or well done. And it is absolutely when it's grilled, they grill it. It's absolutely delicious. I can still taste it, Paul Stern. Boy, you actually went for the uh, the meatball steak there at uh, Columbus. Uh, was that was it Vic Perino? Yeah, and he's been there I for like, many years. His uh, he's yeah. he's a nice guy. Isn't I, li- he? I like him a lot. We had him on the program just the other day. We made a major faux pas. Oh, we did because I went there with uh, Chuck from our staff, and you know, whenever I'm out with Chuck, I kind of relax a little bit and let him take the lead on some things. So there were like two doors. You can go into one door, which goes into the uh, bar area. And on the side of the restaurant, I forgot, is the entrance into the restaurant area. But you can walk through the bar and get to the restaurant. But right next to the bar area is another door that when you open it, it probably isn't the main entrance. Because when you open that door, there was like um, a background for like a stage, like uh, black uh, streamer things kind of hanging down there. And we had to actually walk through there because I just told Chuck, I said, go ahead. And we actually walked into the restaurant on the stage and then down into the restaurant. Well, that's better than me. I, on occasion, make the mistake of opening up the emergency exit when in a oh, restaurant. That's bad. See, and that's, that's bad. awful because usually an alarm will yeah. go off, and that could be very exactly. uh, embarrassing, especially when you're at a nice establishment. That, of course, that would frequent. No one was performing at the time. So when you get into a situation like that, what the heck do you do? We're walking on the stage. We just kind of wave there, and says, show coming up, everybody. Be ready. And then we just walked over there and got our seats and sat down and had dinner. But at least it made it look like you know some kind of a circum- pomp and circumstance at the restaurant. Often, if I did something like that, I would just uh, kind of just say, "Oh, I'm looking for the bar," <laughs> and then people understand. <laughs> exactly. It's a great restaurant. It's open for breakfast too, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's in Eagle Rock, California. It's on Colorado, and I forget the cross street. I, uh, I hope we have a commercial on the air, so because I'm it's such a great plug. It is a great place to go. It's family-owned and operated. That's what I love about it. The uh, Owner's like 97 years old, still going strong. We'll be having more for you straight ahead here on the What's Cooking Show. Stay with us. Attention diners.